about how it's gonna go. About the pain that the city is um, facing. I thought about these neighborhoods on purpose because when you go to these neighborhoods, you're gonna see pain. You're gonna see um, struggle. And so somebody has to directly call out the corner and tell the people on these corners in these neighborhoods to come forth to be great. But drugs have them. Pain has them. And I wanted to really make this poem, Philly Don't Shoot Me Part Two. It was important to me. There's somebody, Lord, help me. There's somebody at 25th in Lehigh and somebody killed their brother and now revenge is in their book bag and when they go to the liquor store, hatred is rubbing his hands at the bottom of a Henny bottle. Can I tell you about a portion of Philly called Kensington and Allegheny? Where everybody is looking like heroin and fentanyl is sitting at the table of dreams and all of their veins is clogged by bank trouble. Can I tell you about a place called West Philly? There's something called 52nd and Market where people right now are smoking on rap evil and I ask them do they care about their life and they say bro I don't care about that shit all I'm worried about is my next high. I don't care about no future seconds. There's a young girl right now that's in South Philly who reminds me of an onion. <laughs> Every time she talks about the layer of her pain, tears starts to fall after its progression. If, if you go to Philly, I want you to go to something called the Frankfurt Terminal. You, you'll see a young boy with his headphones in. And he'll tell you that death is knocking on his door with brass knuckles. With a demon that's in his back pocket with a contract that says, I'm supposed to kill you as soon as I get a chance. Shout out to the gun that you do have in your pants, but we already killed 500 black men last year in your city alone. So nigga, you really don't have a chance. Can I tell you about something called Germantown? Where everybody has an evil fortress that's in their heart and all the wallpaper is thug culture. And you're going to hear this metal banging against the lash, but when you're from Philly, everybody in this bitch is hiding a monster. Mm. That is banging his shoulder against the wind with one gun, with one bullet. We can tell you what's good. I tell you about somebody that's in the Southwest right now who has on ripped jeans, but they didn't come from Old Navy. <laughs> you see, that's the demons, that's the left design from a demon's now trying to dig into the denim. Most of these people in Philly are walking around from harsh words from their parents. They only knew that evil syllables were slicing at the palms. That waterfall of blood was starting to cliff dive off the elbow. It feels to me that all these students in Philly is learning how to pull guns out in their math equations. It seems like the only way they can get to their solutions is by shooting at their problems. I thought I would come here and tell you a poem, but I really was talking to the Lord and hope that he cares. Found out that this had nothing about thugs or gun policy. It's something called spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. My name is Ambition the Poet. Thank you so much. I hope you follow me. Thank you so much, TJ, for having me. You already know what it is. Thank oh, you. Oh, yes, it was.